where they're supposed to be so quiet. Here we go. Okay, 750 is getting ready to go. Oh, and from the second row, a good start by Chuck Graves. And boy, he just whole shot at everybody and took the lead going into turn number one. We expected that out of Chuck. He should be the favorite in that 750 class, despite his uh, deficiencies in the point standing. Please, you have an emergency phone call. Lewis Otto, if you're down here, please come to the uh, phone. Looks like that might have been 787 taking the excursion. Robert Tracy on the Omaha taking that excursion up there in turn number five, but he did a great job of saving it and getting it back on track. Leading, however, right now overall in a great three rider duel, 157. That should be 158. William Keyes leading. In second spot is 57. Scott Lucas, who just passed at the as they crossed the start finish line. So Lucas, the novice rider who won the novice race earlier, just passed Kelly, your points leader in this open stock production class, and Lucas making his presence felt in open stock production already. And running in fourth spot was uh, Mike Schroeder on the Kawasaki. Running first in the 750 class, of course, Chuck Graves out in front. By number 65, William Beck running in second spot. Running in third right now, Tom Kopp. Cop uh, are currently running second in the point standings right now. We're going to try and pick up, find out where 82 is, uh, Dave Clark. He is your points leader, and uh, he should be up there toward the front. But right now, Chuck Gray is having control, pretty much, of the 750 class. And that, of course, will burn him up into about second in the point standings if he keeps it up. The leaders go by again. It seems somewhere on the racetrack, Kelly, the leader in the... Kelly seems to get around the rookie, Scott Lucas, around this 
this racetrack, and then uh, it takes the straightaway for uh, Lucas to fight back and come down and, and catch him. And look at this, Chuck Greer is your leader in the 750 class, starting now to uh, finally get up into fourth place. Up in over, uh, overall, he's starting to uh, close in on Mike Strotter, 720 on the Kawasaki. Stretch it out a little bit over there in turn number eight. Graves making an attempt in fourth place to try and catch up with the leaders. Let's see if there's going to be enough laps left. But Graves definitely the fastest bike out there on the track right now on that 750 stock production bike, even though uh, a lot of open bikes are still ahead of him. Here they come. It's Kelly. Keys. Lucas dropping a little farther back, but he definitely has the horsepower on the straightaway. But he's going to have to make his move into the turns. And Graves, as we mentioned, the fastest bike on the track does have these three leaders in his sights right now and is going after him. William Beck not giving up there in second spot. And Tom Copper, uh, second in the points, hanging tough in third. Behind them comes 277. That's Atwater. And it looked like 82 Dave Clark behind him. So Clark having a bad showing today. Your points leader way down in the field.
And they go over the crest of the hill and down that back straightaway. And look at Graves on a 750 bike. He's gonna go. He's gonna pull up alongside some of these open riders as they go into turn number eight. And but in the meantime, catching up with them as well in 65, William Beck on his purple roll is starting to make up some room also on these uh, leaders as they head around turn number. Nine, they're going to be good. Come out to get the white flag this lap. Graves goes to the outside and takes over third. He comes out of turn number nine. Oh, a rider down. There's a rider down in turn number nine. As they come down the front straight, it is still Scott Lucas, Kelly, and Graves in the third spot now is moved into second. I think that might have been Keys. It was, I think it might have been Keys that went down over there. Thank you. 